Hey guys, welcome to the Adventure Survival Channel. Today we're at Sea Brian Creek Nature Park for a nature tour. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this very foggy morning. Get your some information. They have the hometown holiday festival from on some good from Polly. We have not two terms so far. The cookie walk is happening Saturday, November 12th. Cookie walk? Oh, we'll have to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday, November 25th. Oh, that's... Tired or something. We got to... You got something going on. Yeah, if you want to come, it's a dog and a dog. But these two already passed. These two haven't happened. Take a second to walk. Uh, Pause and read this. Look at that. So they have a little free library. If any of you guys were curious about the hours, they open at 7 and they close at dusk. My husband, Stan, just got certified yesterday, so he is a, I don't know what I say, he's a happy participant. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to know who got married. <laughs> I told him that after I got, became a master naturalist, I told him. demonstration garden is to help people learn what they can do to attract butterflies. So we have volunteers who come in here, plant, weed, trim, take care, and we've also labeled all the different plants so you can see what's here. Now there are two different plants that we focus on, they're types of plants. We have what we call um, nectar plants, and those are the plants that the butterflies and moths and different pollinators use for food. And then we have what we call host plants. And those are the plants that the caterpillars, uh, the eggs are laid by the butterflies or moths. And then the caterpillars eat the plant. <laughs> and so a lot of times people will see caterpillars on their plants and they get upset because the caterpillars are eating the plant. But that's the whole part of the process is for the caterpillars to eat the plant and then they form a chrysalis and then they metamorphosize into a butterfly or a moth. We have these picnic tables here. We just installed this arbor over here. <coughs> and so again, as you come through here, you can see the different plants that we have. Over here, they put some bags on here. They're trying to capture the seeds as they, as the, um, they go to seed rather than having them drop in. They're going to try to uh, plant those in another area. And we also have a little lending library here, which is a little sparse today. I guess some people haven't realized when you take a book, you're supposed to put one back. <laughs> I'll get them to your mom. See, like over here, this particular plant is going to seed. And this is one of my favorite. We try to have as many native plants as we can in here. And I'll talk to you a little bit. I think it's called coral bean, if I'm not mistaken. Do y'all are y'all familiar with Seek or iNaturalist? Mm -mm. There's an app. Uh, I use Seek a lot, which is the junior version of iNaturalist, because to me it's a lot easier. But you open up the app, and then you go to the, uh, the butterflies. Absolutely love it. Have it in our backyard. When we come back around, once the sun's coming through and it's not as wet, we'll probably start seeing some butterflies and moths mm -hmm. over here. But this is basically the butterfly garden. So it's, a, it's here so that people can learn what to put in their yards. It's a demonstration for them. And all of these plants uh, grow beautifully. This one here, the mist flower, 
usually it's just almost shaking with butterflies. This one here, the mist flower, the purple oh, one. Wow. We had a ton of gulf crinolaries on there the other day. Mm -hmm. Boxwoods and the things that builders usually put in the yards. Those plants don't really serve a purpose other than to be green and pretty. Yeah. Uh, and so you never see any activity on them. You never see bugs, you never see birds eating anything because there's nothing for them to eat. So the idea is if you want to attract wildlife to your yard, whether it's birds or bugs or bugs, and that helps contribute to the With those tiny little flowers, those are asters. And a lot of people consider them weeds and they want to pull them out of their yard. And they can be annoying if you have too many of them. But butterflies and moths and bees love them. And they're pollinators, so if you can attract them to your yard, they're going to make all the flowers bloom in your yard and nearby. So they're very important. We do have um, water, it's reclaimed water that's put in the hangout. Oops, yeah. so I mean allowed. Can you spell it again? G-R-O-U-N-D-S-E-L, Okay, got it. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. The sun is, that's the rest of the park, there's a sports complex there. Um, and a lot of people go to the sports complex and think that's all there is to see more in the park. Yeah. This is the nature park. How do they get park. over there to the sports? Uh, you can actually enter off the freeway. There's a driveway that takes you there. They have um, ball fields. A lot of different uh, organized sports are played there. There's another groundsel. Uh, groundsel trees. So I love those. <laughs> There's a little birdhouse right here. The floor's gone. Wow, look at that foggy view, guys. Yeah. Also, you can see a little bit of the blue sky. That's good. This is also something for frisbee golf. From here. Uh, Same sign, but first different first place. place. We'll, we'll finish up doing that. We usually hold at the Rosenberg Civic Center. It's on the first Thursday of each month. We're not going to have one in December, but it will start back in January. And we have different speakers who speak about different things. So in January, we have a tree expert who's going to talk about trees, native trees, and trees in general in Texas. And then in February, we're doing a Zoom presentation. There's a guru named Doug Talamy. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He is a professor who has From figured out... From the Zoo? Pardon? From the Houston Zoo? Uh, no, he's not at the Zoo. Oh. Yeah, but on Zoom. Oh. Okay, so it's going to be a virtual meeting because he's out of state. And he talks about how we need to all create a, a chain of national... Homegrown national parks. to veer off into this path. Also, 
Um, we have so much cameras, so y'all know. Look down there. See that bird flying? Yeah. That's the great blue heron. He usually lands here. A peahen, which is the female version of a peacock, showed up here. And it's been hanging out at the bird blind. And we've been feeding it. And every once in a while you can see it. She'll come and show herself. But I have a picture of her just in case we don't see her. We've named her Penelope. Oh, for you then. Reese Penny. Hello, kitty. Oh. Oh. I'll find you a picture of her. So this is what Penelope is. Oh. Hello, kitty girl. The sun is popping with the sun. Same time, but a different place. And redoing it so that, because there's some pieces that are coming out. But this takes you to the back area of the wetlands. So when you come in, you can see this. It tells you that. Same time, but different place. There are a few boards that are. Yeah, there are. I'll go.
would have taken that other trail, the woodland, um, wetlands loop out, we would have come out there, across the bridge, and we wind up in the same place. Hmm. Well, that's kind of good, you can't get lost, really. Mm -hmm. Just keep walking, you'll find an yeah. exit. <laughs> Unless you just walk in circles. Yeah, you know, that's the job of your life. Of your life. <laughs> So if you guys scan this QR code, um, it will tell you guys that you guys can actually join them on the hike whenever they're doing it next. So make sure you scan this QR code and it will tell you guys information about that stuff so, and tell them if it's just with Adam sending you guys. <laughs> Well, well, you guys, this is going to be it for this Adventures with Adam video. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If y'all did, make sure you have a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share this video with your friends if you guys are interested in this hike. And... Other than that, that is going to be it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.